Hello YouTube, welcome to episode 27 of the Regina Race. It's Damien, it is February, and it is Sam Doria. Um, as you can see though, um, we're in 7th, we've done not too bad, we're actually on a decent run of form of late. However, this is where we're going to start. I promise you guys it'll be a cup game, uh, league game double. We got two one. We got done 2-1 with our B team against Belongu, who are playing quite well in the league. We then went and smacked them 2-0 in the league, not, not too long later, we pumped them. Um, but, you know, things like that happen. As you can see, we are on stream yesterday, and we streamed all to this game here. Where was it? It was early January. 12, 12, 12, there we are. In Teller would have been to there, to the Roma game, right? We did this, and look at the horrible run of form for here. It really tore my head in, and I was like, I need wingers ASAP. I then changed the system slightly, right? And look at that. Salta and Arena, Bologna, AC Milan, Roma, and Tele. All of a sudden, the form clicked in. Um, we've bought some wingers in, though, in the window, and off we go. We're actually going to talk about a few signings quickly. Um, you know, we go to the transfer, we go to the transfer history, and off we go. Uh, we go to future transfers first. Um, we do have a right winger coming in. His name's Edzina Diallo. Um, Derek Lang, um, not Derek Langing, um, Keita Duran has 20 and 20 uh, potential and judging. Um, and he there suggested that this guy's not too bad with a bit of potential. He come through Bayern's academy and I decided just to take a punt on him on a free when he does join. He's got a lot of pace, so a secondary option off the bench is not too bad. I actually think he'd be quite good is Diallo um, off the bench as an impact player. And I'm quite interested to see what he could grow into. But we go to all transfers right now. We actually go by um, date they came in. Boris was the other one. Boris right now has got great pace, good determination. Um, good determine, good flair, sorry. And he's not bad. He's actually come here because he was on a month-to-month -month contract. Um, and he looks not bad. And maybe a player that can change the game. I actually think he'll be okay off the bench. And that's what we're using him for. And if he grows into this potential, he can be quite the handy player indeed. Um, in terms of something else that we did, um, yeah, where are we? Um, Daniel Fernandez. We actually paid a million for him. And this is the thing about Daniel Fernandez. He was on a free. He didn't want to talk to me for coming on a free because he wanted to stay at his club. Um, he had Barca, United, Atletico, uh, Inter, all looking at him. Right, to come in on a free contract, end the thing. But they didn't poke an off, and I said, I can't pass up on this guy. They have been passing, 14 marking, headling, tackling, positioning. Very good mentals for a young age. Physically not bad, apart from being five foot ten. I was like, look, if all these clubs are interested in him, it means they've got some damn potential. And when your 20 and 20 scout tells you he has this potential, and all those clubs are interested, you go for him. Um, so I paid a million for him to come in, and obviously when the contract was accepted, he's like, oh, the club wants to let me leave, so I'm happy to come in as a backup player. And I was like, not a problem, that's fine. He's played a couple of games. He actually go to the club's clean. The game thinks he's our best hot prospect, so it's not too bad. So in terms of the team, we actually changed the tactics around slightly. We actually changed what we're doing with player roles too. Um, player roles on play, opposition player instructions. And we've actually gone back to this formation. It seemed to have worked. Just Z um, Zico playing in the middle of the park wasn't really working. It worked to the start of the year, and then it's just dropped off a heap. Um, I'm actually going to not play Moncini in this game. He's been complaining about first-team football, but this is a biggish game, and I need the Stig to go out there and perform. The Stig's having a quiet year. But, um, so I dropped him in, and we're playing that. Unfortunately, Abdu, um, who's been growing absolutely amazing, by the way, he's going to be injured for this game. Good player. I think he's a leading player. He's been unreal. He actually scored one of the goals of the month, but I can't remember what game it was in or else I would show you. Um, he has picked up a little knock, but he should be back for not too long. Picked up a, um, a head knock in a game, but we should be okay here. As we are sitting, we're sitting at the moment in seventh. I told the board, though, I wanted to finish mid-table, so I got a little bit more transfer budget, a little bit more wage budget, um, but I honestly think that's quite doable, especially leave us from 33 points and say that lights to Swallow and Capri are down on 26. As long as we don't go going on a massive run of poor form, I think we should finish in that mid-table spot, and we should be okay um however you know you got jonathan that wants to finish top half and so move um abdu or else they're going to get angry at us but we'll see how we go we're going to continue though and get into this game here um quite an interesting game i actually got to play martin though at the moment because of this injury i actually prefer to do this um martin every time he's played he's played on the right and played well so just going to do that and swap him um, um franz been playing okay too of late you know 6.87 but i think his recent form has been a-okay uh not just solid um, maybe I just see him taking corners and get really excited. The one we might have to talk about is Christopher. Christopher's been playing quite well in a midfield role when I have used him as a backup. I always found himself out of the team because he's not been performing well enough, not been growing enough. So I'm actually tempted to sell him next season and see what happens. He hasn't played in the last three games. Anyhow, we're going to get into it as well. Mutumbo probably deserves a shout out too. Like, look at him. Eight assists at 18, at, what, um, 18 games at 17 years old. Growing slightly, but not too much. That was what worries me. Um, the last thing we might talk about is transfers, actually. We nearly forgot. Ruben Russo, right, growing like wildfire. Looks quite good and growing. Had a two point, had a 1.2 million bid for Dortmund on the final day with a loan back. And I was like, that's interesting because if we free up a foreign spot, we can use Zachary, who's out now on loan. Um, 
Papa Vesta go and do this with Zachary, right? He's out on loan um, at the moment at Milan, and because Milan have a foreign spot um, available, they can actually use him as a um, in the under twenties. So he's growing. He actually got upset at me for going out on loan. But beside the point, Ruben Russo had that, and I was like, look, if we sell him at the end of the year, we got him back. Awesome, because then we can free up the um, free up the spot for Zachary. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't going to take 1.2 mil. Um, we got to the point where we got 2 mil up front with 2.2 mil over 12 months, a few different clauses. Um, and I was like, oh, I was very tempted to take that. But then I got a bit greedy. I asked for like 3 mil with 4 mil up um, over a couple of months. We negotiated down, I think it was 2.2 and 2.5, but that was really it, unfortunately, for us. Um, and they pulled out. It was all on deadline day as well, so it couldn't be like if we could go back in um, and you know offer him to Dortmund again. It was pretty late on in deadline day. The offer had to be made then. Um, part of me regrets that, but then another part of me looks at all these upward arrows. He's having a very decent year, apart from the goals conceded. It's more because of our defence, but at 7.08, he's made some big saves in games, especially on stream last night. There was a couple of games where we drew and he made like 94 minute saves. Um, so look, Ruben Russo probably deserves to be here, especially for another year. And if he keeps growing like that and these get the 15s and 16s, all of a sudden his kicking gets up to about 13, 14, all of a sudden you've got quite the Serie A goalkeeper on your hands. We're going to get in this game against Sam Doria, all the big boys are out there, you know what the team looks like by now, um, most part there, we've got Martin who's growing actually not too bad, uh, we said that, apparently all his physicals are declining, um, he's been not too bad as well when he's played, 6.89, played 16 times as well as Martin, um, Ludi, Beltran, Wittek, there's been playing well, Leston, Yen, Mutumbo, um, Yen the man I don't think has been growing that much. Apparently, downward arrows again. Okay, not a problem. We're not going to click on another player. They're playing 4 4 2. We play okay against a 4 4 2, but it does give us trouble sometimes. Um, I'm just going to tell them um, that we are going to be, you know, if we play well, we'll win it. I just don't know what to say when we're on this good run of form instead of like, keeping it up. I don't want to put pressure on the boys, though, because obviously they in their minds were overperforming. But this is what we've been doing right, and this has been working a lot, where we press teams or overpress teams into areas, and then they knock it long, and then we pick uh, we pick the ball up, and then we play out again. It has been working quite well. Quite well. So, um, you know, it's been working very well, especially against the weaker sides, like Milan, Napoli, um, where we tried it out against the bigger sides. They played for us, right? But we did press out and win the ball a lot, and then the highlight would start again. So highlights would start with them on the ball. We'd press it, and then they go, oh, shit, I've got nothing long. Let's knock it into the channel. Um, oh, their striker's out of position. We'll pick it up with the centre-back, and then we start on again. And it was very good to watch. I hope it happens in the game, and I can show you. Um, and I'm very happy with that. So ever since that's happened, defensively, we've been like, Rock solid. So I'm looking for that to happen again, just being a rock solid at the back and see what happens. We get an early corner with Tech now. His ball finds Ludi. Ludi looking for Big David. David loves an effort. Big David every time. He loves it. He just loves a goal. He is sensational. And there you go. Big David making it 1 0 here. We take there, gives the ball in, and this is why we can't drop Big David, because he just scores. Look at that, one touch, yeah, not a problem, I know where the goal is, I've been doing this for many years for uh, Regina, so that's going in. He just scores, he is unreal, we're well, 1-0 up here, Matumbo now though, on this fast line, looking for the Stig now. His ball finds it, Big David again, does he want to hit one from distance, instead he looks for Matumbo, Matumbo, good ball in, but it hits the back of the Stig and it falls to him, maybe they can come on the break here. Vitugo, there's a decent boy out there, the creator, Bolde, who's actually got a lot of pace, and he is in here, can Rosso make the save? It's a great block from Russo. Made himself big and then went down in his nice blocking position at the feet and makes another great save. A save that Kukketi would fail, uh, would not have made last year. Kukketi was a decent shot stopper from distance. You know, decent at saving, you know, big chances. But one-on-ones with his kryptonite, you felt. Um, Russ has been quite good in one-on-ones of late. I say all this and Bayolde's in. Cut back for Torgo. There's nothing he can do about that. And it's 1-1 all of a sudden. That ball into the channel has hurt us from goal kicks and then they go long. I don't know how to fix it without us playing a deeper line. I just don't like playing a deeper line because it doesn't help our pressing game. But this ball into the channel has always killed us against pacey strikers. Arguably could have been in an offside position. Too hard to tell. We're not going to really look back at it, to be honest. It should not have mattered too much. It should have defended the situation better. Playing quite well. We need the next goal. I don't want to go behind. That's been the problem as well as chasing games. I haven't got a system that chases a game well. You know, we've got wingers now, so maybe we can actually try a winger formation to go chase games. Um, but I haven't found a system that works well to chase games. As of the, at the moment, though, dominating possession and game's not too bad. This is a big game. So Dora are in decent form. It's not like they've been like mugs in the league um, either, you know, sitting top 10. But this is a game. If all of a sudden you win, you get an extra few points ahead of Sam Dora in 10th. Oh, all of a sudden, maybe you'll finish in that mid-table spot on the board to be happy with you. Um, I'm going to tell them that I'm not happy with the performance at the moment because to be quite honest, especially up top, not a lot's happening. Um, we're having Zitko on the bench because he wasn't working well in that center attacking mid um, role and was probably partly down in our poor form. 
you know, he's very good off the bench. Anyway, a very good option to have is the ball falls to Ludi. Big David hit one. Instead, he lays it there. Falls the yeah, the man. Fran. Abdul would have scored it. That's the thing. But Fran doesn't. And there we are. It was a big chance for the Spaniard. And there we go. Wittek heads down. Fran gets on it now. Still with Fran. Looking for Big David. Looking inside the Martin and gets tackled. We need to win this ball less than just keep it. Finds Fran. Back inside. Looking for my... Oh, my. If that's how we concede, I'll cry. Oh, my. Look at the space in the box. Unless Bialde puts it off target. Yeah. That annoys me. Because that's happened a lot as well in this save. And it's happened more in this save than any other save that I've done. Especially HK. Like, HK, everything ran so smoothly. Just, you know, in the middle, just... Controlling it. The ball's about to go to Martin's feet. Martin can play out. Just hits the back of um, someone else. And there we are. We now need the next goal. I'm not going to panic. See, that ball's not even meant for Ludi. And Ludi just doesn't get out of the way of it. Good flick there from Big David. Looking for Ludi again. Finds Fran eventually. Looking there to Wittex. The Bistig's in the back of post. He's very good at a header. So looks for Jonathan. Knocks down. Big David again. 2-2. Two -two. Big David's running the show. What a little knockdown, by the way, Jonathan. He's not great in the air, but just an intelligent knockdown. And Big David there. Running in from deep. He loves a goal. He plays there so well in this advanced playmaker on attack. Just always scores. We take there. He's my favourite player in this save is Big David. And bang! Hits that one. Leaves the keeper no chance. Off we go. We take on the free kick. Can he hit one? Oh, wasn't too far away. Just didn't bend back enough. Actually looks a little bit... Um out of short. We um, actually loaned out Moreno the deal. He was actually in decent form for us, but wasn't playing enough, and I didn't want to stunt his growth at 20. So I'm going to give him another year's worth of growth. The Stig might actually keep that in. He does. Can he whip in a good ball here? He doesn't. DeMarco takes it off him, and Acuna now going down the other end. Looking for a good ball out, and he does. We should press in and win it here, Matumbo. He does. Okay, can we play out here? It's a decent ball in the front. Fran, can he just find a pass? Looks for Ludi. Ludi now. Good ball in the Martin. Looking for Big David. Can he just play out? Uh, he's gone the other way. Instead of that, the ball finally finds Fran now. Fran on it. Still with Fran. Can he find a ball? Looks for Wittek. The Stig wants it back post. Can he lump it in there? Back post. The Stig doesn't get there. Falls the Martin. Looks down to Ludi. Ludi now. Here's good ball. Big David. He gets tackled, though. It might be a chance of them going on the break. They just punted along. If Vitugo gets there first, Russell's got to come. He does, and he actually does well as much as it goes back to them. It's a good ball in the Kiata Bialde. They just played this punting ball over the top. Good ball in Vitugo. Oh, my. We're free 2 down. feel like they're just doing a smash and grab. Every time they get it, just lomp, lomp, lomp. Um, if we get it back to 3-3, free free, we're going to change the system. But we're going to keep the system for now because obviously we're behind um, by, you know, Bialde's pace. Russell's actually done well. He's done the right thing. Come and swept, which is great. It's just another long ball. I just don't get it. Right? Why do these long balls happen? You know, we, football manager needs to sort out because obviously, like, take Burnley finishes, play a lot of the long ball system. You know, City don't go concede free on, against Burnley just from long ball. You know, defence eats it up. It's not like every long ball is a goal-scoring opportunity. Um, FM19 that would be something I wouldn't mind fixed as they're going to come away here. It's poor marking. Bialde's going to win it. That's game over. Actually going to go to this. Um, this might sound strange. Um... Going to go to 4 3 3, but I'm actually going to go to deeper on the counter. We're actually going to just play out and not do anything else. Um, more mix, be more expressive, pass the ball into space and be a bit deeper, but a much higher tempo though. Getting stuck in, I don't mind that. Um, I need to get the stick as a target man on attack. Hasn't done a lot. Jonathan there playing okay. Big David's not coming off the wire. We're going to get Zikovic in there. I'm actually going to get Big David into this position here as advanced playmaker on attack. Keep Beltran on as well. And we are going to bring Toulouse into this one here right now. And we're going to go to that. Actually, we might do this as well and might actually bring Zika. As much as he hasn't played well in this formation, can maybe just go into the shadow striker role um, and just do that, I reckon. Make triple change. We're going to go to that and see if maybe we can hit him on the break. Um, maybe give him a little bit of their own medicine. If they go 5 to up, though, it's completely undeserved. But you're all good in for two goods at oh, my. What's going on? Are we serious? I just don't get it. Honestly, don't get it. I don't understand. I question the mentality of this side sometimes. You know, you're well in the game, you're dominating, you give away two cheap goals to two long balls, and then all of a sudden, well, we fall away. Just offensively, we got one of the arguably one of the better centre backs you could buy. And there we are. Game over. Just game over. We need a goal right now. It's not going to happen. Overload, pump it. Yeah, not a problem. Take more risks. Run from position. Hit early crosses. Do it all. Confirm that. Just watch him score right now. As the ball falls to Toulouse, he's a good ball out to the stick. I'm just looking for him to hold it up. Find a ball over the top, son. His number's running with him. He can play the ball out here. It's a decent ball. Zika. Big David. Can he make a hat-trick for himself? Oh, Big David. Could have got a hattie. 
Only saving grace is Big David scored too. The Bullfons are Zikovic. There we are. Big David presses in and wins it slightly. He doesn't lose it again. See, that stuff, that annoys me. You know, they just win all the knockbacks. If that's us, that's going down the other end. It's another ball for a good tackle. Oh, how does that go there? Leston's tackles that way. Good save from Russo. Good save from Russo. Wow. I just don't get it. Sandura have come here and just done a smash and grab. Definitely feels like a smash and grab anyway. Just the way they've scored. Oh, look, at look. they've given them a lot of chances. Defensively, we've been poor, I reckon. Oh, there we are. There's Linity on the ball. Ball over the top from Victor Hugo. Just, what is this? One long ball into the channel. Being humiliated. Being humiliated. Don't you dare make it seven. Good tackle there from Woody. Good tackle again. Can we make it 6-3 at least? Zik is going to get on it. Just go and score one for yourself, son. Straight at the keeper. Wow. Don't get it. Don't get it. Dominated the ball and apparently just everything's got out the window. They haven't even made a change. Wow, I just feel so... I feel a bit FM'd, but at the same time, do we? are we really just got FM'd? I don't think so, to be honest. Maybe we just got outplayed tactically. Yeah, that's going to be game over. Feel like we got outplayed tactically. So back to the drawing board. The system has worked so well. And then 6-2 out of nothing. Aggressively get in there. Yes. I mean, I'm, that's not good enough. Lose confidence. I don't care. David getting an 8.8. .8. I feel so sorry for him. But just unreal that that just happened. Send the assistant. And there we are. Look at that. We won five in a row. All right. Well, we didn't win five in a row. But we didn't lose. Look, since the system came in, right? Did it against Bologna. And then all of a sudden that. Look, one you lost to Milan. We, we weren't, you know, we rode our luck, right? But we had a moment or two. Belongia was, um, Belongia was smacked, right? We, we drew 1-1 one, one to Rome and arguably we're the better side in that game, right? 3-0 to Intella, 2-2 uh, to Napoli, 2-1 over Florentino. The loser, Sampdoria. We have to beat Chievo and Spal. Um, in terms of the next episode, it will be in the stream. We're going to be streaming later tonight. Link in the description below. Follow on Twitch. What a shit episode, eh? Unfortunate for what we can do, but enjoy the rest of your day or night. Wherever you're watching from, please stay safe, stay humble, stay well. Enjoy where, whatever time of day it is. I'll get over the 6-2 loss, and we'll go again. Looking to win as many games as possible to, before we get on stream as well. We won't go... We'll, you, I'll probably play this run of games and then get the Juve going and do the whole run home I'll, on stream, and you'll see your game, maybe the uh, AC Milan game and the Roma game back-to-back -back as the last two games of the season, maybe until it, depending on what's happening in the league as well. Enjoy the rest of your day or night, guys. Thank you for watching um, yet again, episode 27 of the Regina Race. It's Damien signing off, and goodbye.